Hey all, Matt Hepworth here, and today we're going to take a look at whether the new M1 native versions of the UADX plugins are more efficient than those that had been running on Rosetta previously. Let's check it out. So this is completely new to me. I haven't even updated to the new version yet, even though I've been part of the beta. But uh, let's get going here. So I've got Studio One, and I'm at 32 samples in a 48 kilohertz session. And we're just going to add some tracks here. Actually, I'm going to add a single track, then I'm going to do some duplicating. So I'm just going to set that to my aux input, mute and record. Check, check. Okay, that's got me. Press four, bring in some inserts and UADX. We'll go vision. I'm going to use the AU version. preset because it has everything enabled there we go everything's enabled and uh, you know what let's add a 1073 on there as well AU um, same story UADX version all EQ bands are enabled EQs enabled phases enabled Pretty straightforward, we'll duplicate that. And I'm just gonna go for, let's do 16 tracks. Okay. Because I also wanna open this in 96 without any changes, so. Okay, there we go, CPU. We are at minimum on our dropout protection. Sitting around 60%. Check, check, this is me, 60%. This is Rosetta Studio One. As you can see, we're open here and that's the Rosetta version. And just to prove that that's Rosetta, we have Studio One here, it's running Intel, so we are not getting any of the benefits of the Apple Silicon, so to speak. Um, but as you probably have seen in my other videos, it's kind of irrelevant, but let's check it out. So this is running really smoothly. And again, sitting, sitting between 52 and sometimes 62. Um, but overall, pretty good performance. pretty steady now at 52. So I think that's a pretty good number. So let's save that as a template. That title works for me. And uh, let's update UA. I'm gonna go ahead and update all. And I'll speed ahead in this because I'm sure this is super boring. Okay. There we go. And uh, obviously that passive EQ collection, super nice addition. All right, minimize that guy. And now let's launch the non Rosetta. So the regular Studio One 5, let it scan the new plugins. Okay. Cool. So new song, 48. We're gonna use a template. Before we get excited, we'll check our buffer, which is actually set for 64 samples, as we can see now. Select all this jibba jabba. And hey, actually, it's looking encouraging, except for the fact that we're on a different buffer. So let's get our buffer to 32. Hope Studio One doesn't crash. Check. Okay, uh, did not expect that. That is, if we were at 52 before, what is that, a 24% improvement? Um, let's just double check. 32 samples, 48 kilohertz. Oh, 
dropout protection to minimum. There we go. Didn't really change much. And uh, let's record. So this is now recording. Check, check. With the M1 native version. And uh, let's look at activity monitor. I closed it apparently. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, and we can now see that Studio One is running Apple. So let's just make sure the plugins. UA Connect running Apple. So yeah. Apple, everything looking good. Um, Got to be honest, this performance is better than I expected by quite a ways. So really good optimization. Um, about 20% better than what we were seeing with uh, Rosetta. So let's stop that guy and uh, let's close that. And just for the heck of it, let's do one at 16 samples. So we're at 42%. And now I'm gonna go to 16 samples. Let's see where we go. 43%, wow. That is super, super, super impressive. Check, check. And that is two UAD plugins on every single channel. Real time, 16 samples, 45% CPU. Um, yeah, color me impressed. Um, I think, uh, this definitely blows my expectations out of the water. I was thinking we'd get between 5 and 10% improvement, but really we're getting more like a 20% improvement, which is uh, dramatic. Really impressed. Do a quick audio test. Check, check. This is recording at 16 samples. Check, check. Nice. Yeah, smooth as butter. Not seeing any jumping or anything of the CPU. Everything is looking just great. So yeah, that's pretty impressive. I just disabled the inserts on all channels and 3% uh, just to show what they're really utilizing. This is this is super impressive. It really is just kind of unbelievable how good this is. I mean, you can actually literally track with UADX plugins at the lowest buffer. And yeah, you're adding a little bit of latency because each of these are 55 samples. So you're adding a little bit of latency. But CPU wise, you can track with these. I hate to say it practically like you can track with an Apollo. I mean, other than being higher latency, I mean, this is really, really impressive stuff. So, were those results what you expected? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, please leave a like and subscribe. It's awesome if you do. And thanks for watching. Matt Hepworth, see you next time.